Operation Wild Horse is a program that's based in northern Illinois where the staff will go to different um, slaughter kill pen auctions and look for, there's a lot of wild mustangs that go in these auctions, so they'll look for the mustangs and adopt them and use them, train them so that they can do the basics so they're not dangerous to other people. And then they find out veterans that are in need of help through the Veterans R&R program. Operation Wild Horse is an organization that we found about that um, pairs two groups together, um, a woman who is a horse trainer along with a man who um, was a veteran himself and was working hard for an organization called Veterans R&R &R, and um, they naturally kind of together just found how that would be a great um, way to connect the two and have the veterans working with the horses, particularly these Mustangs that often kind of seem forgotten. They're, they're part of America's history and kind of American icons, yet um, out west there's big huge holding pens of these animals that are being gathered off of the rangeland so that um, the farmers can have enough area for their cattle but they utilized those horses then with the veterans who also were maybe feeling kind of similar that, that they're a part of America's history, but now where do we go now? What do we do? What are we supposed to do once we return? They assign one veteran, one horse, so they work with that same one over and over again. So you can really tell how the veterans kind of open up and the horses kind of start to trust them more. So the veterans really can see that they're making a difference in the horse's life. There's some, older veterans, people maybe the age of my dad, kind of at retirement looking for something to be involved in, they show up and they bring the horses out in parades. And then you've got some, some younger ones, males, females, some of them just want to come out and groom, some just want to come out and help and build pens and pastures and fences and just be a part of supporting that way. I want to give back to the people that helped our country be how it is today, so I'd like to help any way I can possible. I think that this is a good thing because it benefits two populations that really need help. Like some veterans are going through a lot, there's a lot of suicides or they just don't know what to do when they come back. And these horses that are also in need of help are at their last chance. It's like the veterans help the horses, but the horses are still helping the veterans. 